every year I keep promising to um, make a vlog or a video of the Kayak Anglers European Championship event uh, that takes place at Langles Lake in the Brecon Beacons in Wales. It's probably one of my favourite events of the year uh, for a whole number of reasons. It's well organised by the South West Kayak Anglers. Uh, it has fantastic environmental settings, the backdrop and the mountains around are superb. The fishing is very good, although it can be very tough at times. And it also has a really good social side to it as well, which is probably why I've not made a video to date. Um, that's helped by the fact it has camping and caravan site there, uh, a cafe, restaurant, um, well-stocked shop that sells tackle, and of course, a bar. So I'm going to head off and meet Mark and Ian. The weather forecast isn't great for the next few days, but that's typical for up there and uh, see if I can improve on my current best position of seventh. I think I've done six competitions so far. Seventh is my highest ranked place. Back in February, I managed to get uh, Biggest Pike. Uh, that won me um, a Flayden net. And I think a few years back, that seventh position won me a Flambeau Lure Box, which I still use today, actually. And on that note, it's a really well-supported event. Not only does it have between sort of 30 and 50 uh, competitors each time but it has some really good sponsorship and some great prizes for for everyone actually taking videos when you're trying to compete the two don't go together um, but I've hopefully I'm going to just pull together everything and anything that I can grab and make sure that the, the event gets the cover that it deserves <laughs> Ian has assured me he's found some perch. And the perch have been a curse for me here. I've yet to actually get a Langles perch. A perch, yay! My first Langles perch. Another perch. Actually, plenty. Pike is going to be the challenge, I think, this weekend. It's match day. Yesterday it just poured with rain, so tackle talk day, and reducing it from uh, bags and bags of lures down to just one small box to take onto the kayak, and selecting rigs um, suited to the conditions. Now most of the lake is covered in weed, and uh, I know that Ian had his fish over those weed beds. I'm going to start off trying to target the pike, and I'm going to try and fish those weed beds. I've got a couple of chebble heaps uh, sat on the on the trace. So the idea is that I'll be able to cast this out. Those chub weights are going to just sink down onto the weed bed, not get too snagged up, and the fly is going to sit nice and close to the surface. Controversial early start, and we're off. Let's start off on the fly on the heavy rod. I see David Jacobs catch and land a decent pike. So I know that I'm not in the wrong area and there are pike over the weed beds. He has the unenviable job of trying to measure it. Well, I crack on and it's all going well. My lure looks good in what is about a foot of clear water above four foot of weed. Um, I'll recast though and this happens. I lose the entire lot. It turns out to be an absolute disaster. I try and spot some fish and brave standing up for a little while, but um, to no effect. I've uh, caught a couple of tiny perch, they're too small to count, they've got to be over 20 centimetres. Mine are probably more like 10. And now I've resorted to spending the next three hours fishing over the deep hole, jigging and drifting. I've lost the will. Need a fish. Yes, got my pike. Worked hard for that. They need to be 
35 centimeters long is not long enough. Adios. There are plenty of perch, but they've all been too small. A dubious 20 centimeters. There we go. It's a typical day. Got him. Oh man. So Avon's off the water, and by all accounts, it was quite a tough session. Often is at Langorse. Um, the pike didn't seem to be playing ball, the perch were. And I suspect there's quite a few people that did manage to get two pike and uh, a perch. And now it's time for the uh, the presentation. Without you guys, the, the, the events wouldn't survive really, would it? And the same for the sponsors, the massive bag of the sponsors, they've been quite generous again. The biggest pike that I follow is Skiron Vendere. Sponsor by Vendere goes to Paul Reese in 86. Well done. 44 centimetres. Vendere whiskey again. Goes to James Power. Fourth place, sponsor by Palm. 168 centimetres, Joel Nicholas. Third place, sponsored by Railblazer, Navionics, Meps, Lucky John, Tiberio, Nika. Second place, 178 centimetres, goes to David Jacobs, sponsored by NIS, Lucky John. First place, Sales sponsors again, NRS, Navionix, and Lucky John, because we are picking him with 180 centimetres. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. It's time for a few beers now. I'm watching Glen get a right royal kick in. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you very much. No. We were gonna make him go back. <laughs> Come over this way. Come over this way. Come on. Sugar sugar lump, you need sugar lump. Yeah. Or carrot.